All right, so I'm here at the uh, first mini meet in Pickerington, Ohio, in Vac Lab's basement, and we have his new to him, Thomas Rechtenwald, that is, uh, Rainbow E2, and we're going to do a particle counter test. So let her rip. All right, now we're going to try uh, back by the filter. Okay, let her rip, Thomas. Oh, turned it off. Oops. Yeah. Just one Turning second. the meter on does help to actually read the particles once in a while. Here we go. Okay, here we go. And we're on high. <laughs> So he said that he picked this up on eBay. I got it on eBay. Okay, got on eBay. Hundred and uh, hundred and fifty. I had to pay fifty for overnight shipping. I got it in like two days. Okay. And, and there's one side of the filter. We did take the filter box out, and the other side was definitely dirty. So this might be the particle count from a ten-year-old filter. It's possible. Possible. Um, whoever owned this machine before, it was a truck driver. He said he hardly used it. So it possibly could very well be the original filter. All right. I and don't have a clue. And I've taken my real anemometer here, measured this up here uh, with an adapter because this doesn't fit up here. And I got 93 CFM right here. So we'll go and uh, do the same thing with the hose and reconfirm the hose measurement. So this is a, this is an E2, is it like an E2 Platinum, an E2 12? E2 Platinum, Blue, some people call it um, an E2 3. It, there's a bunch of different names, but it's basically just an E2 2 speed with the silence foam. Okay, all right, wonderful. Yeah, and I did see the foam in there when we, yes. when we took that thing off. You could actually see the foam. Okay, well, onward and upward. All right, now we're gonna do a suction test. On high, obviously, let it rip. 60, 80, 24, uh, maybe like 84 or something or other. Okay, so pretty good. All right, don't want to do that too much. There's <laughs> the vacuum. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and check the airflow at the end of the hose. All right, let it rip. Get a peak value. We're at 2854. It's a little awkward because I'm doing one handed. All right, let's see what 2854 does. Let's see here. 
2854 conversion. And we're at 74 and a half CFM. So 74 and a half CFM. And up here we were at low 90s. So this hose loses about 20 CFM, which honestly was a little more than what I thought. But if that's what it is, that's what it is. I mean, this is fairly complicated up here. And it's got, uh, it's got an angle here. Obviously, it's got some kind of uh, insert, you know, part in here. It actually was clear to the metal. Yeah. They bend it. <laughs> and you've got whatever you've got here for, let's see, and I, I now think I can figure out how to remove this. <laughs> it's like, there we go. There so, is a seal yep. oh, there's here. a seal right here. Got a little dust on it. That might make a little bit of a difference, but. I don't, there's not one in there. Yeah. That's just plastic. All right, so that's what we have. So we're looking at low 70s down there at the nozzle. Okay, all right. So this is Back Lab's first opportunity to use a Rainbow E2. I've got the D4Cs. In fact, I've got two of them, but I don't have an E2. And Mr. Thomas Rechtenwald from the channel of the same name has actually brought his up for me to try. So this is really nice. We're gonna run it on high and see what happens. So one of the first things I notice is these are very stiff bristles, but there's no beater bars. So that's one thing that they've changed. But this is pretty cool over here. All right, so let's put some junk in the car. Back, Carpet suit. Uh, yeah. Here's some of that. Here's the boats. Make a nice little suit. Here's some flour. And here is some rice. Ooh. It does have a lot of shame, mainly because of the base plate. And there we go. Yep. That did it. All gone. So nice. This is this is very quiet. Hey YouTube, I'm here with Bill at VacLab. And I decided to bring my D3C for enjoyment. I got this machine in 19, it was invented in 1982, but I got uh, two years ago in 2016. Woman who previously owned it took very good care of it. It is not original, as you can see, I have a newer hose. Um, this power nozzle is actually from a D4SE. And... But it's still the same performance as the original power nozzle came to it. So, Bill is going to do a little bit of a carpet soup action for your viewing pleasure. And we just figured out how to get the separator off, right? Yes. It, it, was, it was really locked on there. so we. It was kind of okay. stuck in there. I was afraid it was rusted, but it just needed a little tapping. Here we go. Ooh, 
little snow plowing. Got a little snow plowing. Well, you know, I do have this on low. Let me put it on high. Let's see if I can get a little bit. A little bit. Yeah, I think that's a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a little bit. And we all know the PM1 has better airflow than the PM2. Hey, you got it. You did it, did. And I just want to have this for. And it still smells like spice. A sound reference. So this thing is really quiet. Yes, I mean, it's quieter than the D4. That's something. You can, um,. I can actually play music the same time I'm back. I'm going to hear my music playing play in day. So let's see what it does from the end of the hose. Stretch it out. And I'm going to say, what, two and a half? Almost two and a half. Yeah, right at two and a half. Two and a half on our chart should be about 65 CFM out of the end of the hose. So the same as a D4. Yeah, that's, that's not bad at all. And this machine is completely original. Nothing has been replaced motor-wise, bearings, or anything. There you go. That's fine. Uh, where did I put? Oh, okay. I'll try a suction test. See if you can get in there and see that. All right, here we go. About 60, yes, 60, 60 inches of water lift at the motor base. So this thing's in pretty good shape, and it's so quiet. I actually prefer it over the D4. All right, let her rip. So Mr. Thomas Rechtenwald, go check out his channel. See, get him hits. He's never used a Taconi product. Sometimes down in the south, I guess we say, Tacony. <laughs> so he's never used one. So here he's going to use two. Uh, this one you saw that I did um, the bearing refurbish. And then the one over on the left screen is from 2012. And I haven't done anything to it. Let her rip. Listen to that non-screechy wind down. Okay, next on to the Red Beast, otherwise known as the Shredder. <laughs> it's a beast. Oh, this one's different. Yeah. It's very light going forward and backward. I guess the Apple Airplane is destroyed the car there. So that wind down. Right, we're gonna go and feel the shredder. Uh, don't do this at home. Yeah. 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 yeah that, that does hurt. Hurts. Did, did it make your hand red? I don't know how hard you pushed no, it on it. No. Make it okay. Red, but it doesn't. It, yeah. I wouldn't recommend sticking your finger way in there. Yeah. What? Well, <laughs> I'll never do that. All right, yeah. let's let's try this other one. Very similar brush rolls, but this one isn't nearly as harsh. Oh, that is a lot easier. That one yeah. Okay, like I said, kids, don't do this at home. Maybe even adults, don't do this at home. Not going to be responsible for you shredding your fingers. <laughs> Away we go.
Yeah. So you may have to use the little relief valve up here. With the new vinyl hose, you have 75 CFM at the nozzle, which is a little too much for medium pile carpet. This with an air relief valve. Yep. So a lot, lot easier. Yeah, <laughs> 1980. Foot switch still works. We are back with the D3C with the Rainbow D4C PN2. However, that's not the power nozzle I use on mine. I use the PN2E. Do I do a little vacuuming here? Go ahead. I can feel the floor vibrate. Out of the room. Yeah. The PN2 does work on the D3C. It's not original, but it does work. I'll go on the other side here. Oh, okay. Not beat a rainbow getting under low pile furniture. That or an electrolux. The dry, sir?
century of one. Of course, mine don't have as much agitation as this one. Yeah. So, what one are you going to do next? Hoover. Hoover. I was. Oh. <laughs> Hoover. She's like, what? Wonderful, inexpensive Chinese Hoover. Well, I found one on the Facebook yard, so it was only like 10 bucks. I was like, ah. My mom was like, you got a problem. <laughs> and I was like, you like to go to Bath and Body and buy it out. Funny. I think Walmart might even sell these new still. I thought Mine I doesn't. saw one. No, all right. Mine doesn't. Mm. Different location. Mm. Several pounds. You say top heavy? Did, did handles uh, heavy? I said it's not like taco. Oh, oh, okay, it's all right. Like well, seasons. yeah, it's gonna be. So, my son works at Taco Bell. So, guess what? We vacuum up periodically. Taco yep, absolutely. And the last vacuum here at the Mini Meat shall be the one with the longest name ever. P P P. Yep. I like the color though. And my wife really likes using it. 65 nozzle CFM, really easy to push. over it. Yeah. Yeah. It'll feel like it was color or the symmetry. Mm -hmm. All right, well, that concludes the Pickerington Rectonwald Yapel Mini Meat here. All right, so I hope you all had a good time watching this mess of, well, everything. Until next time, happy vacuuming. <laughs>